Hi Raiders, welcome back to Yukikaze Gaming, and uh, today we're going to be uh, looking at the 75 day total progress of the hybrid alt speedrun account. Um, so the thing is, uh, I think at this point I'm actually going to be giving this account probably away to one of my guildmates. Um, the reason is... Well, there's, there's a lot of reasons, and I'll, I'll kind of go into those a little bit here. One thing is that uh, my life is about to get a lot more busy at work and things like that. Uh, I also have a lot more projects that I'm trying to tackle. Uh, the hybrid alt account does take a lot of time to maintain and, uh, and to you know, push forward in, prod, uh, in, in content because uh, everything is brand new for it, and it requires kind of uh, starting everything from scratch, and uh, really takes a lot of extra effort to maintain and to progress. Um, there's some other reasons, too. Uh, I feel the progress hasn't really been that great lately, because there hasn't been nearly as much events going on uh, that you usually kind of count on as part of the income for the account to get that progression. Uh, we've seen, you know, a, a real drop in the past several weeks of kind of event support from Vespa, even really uh, major things like holidays and stuff like that uh, that would usually have something associated to them, usually several things. We've gotten sometimes absolutely nothing for at all. Uh, we've seen not even uh, recurring event dungeons, for instance. Uh, holidays that they already have uh, event dungeons for that they've made before that they could have just relaunched, we didn't even get those. So uh, that's made it really hard to continue and to progress in any meaningful fashion. And then, on top of that, we've had the recent changes that came up in the recent patch. And that not only really damaged the ability to progress, uh, but it was also kind of a, a major setback. And what I mean by that is the removal of solo time a lot of you have probably noticed, has really set back the ability for many heroes and teams to do the kind of damage that they used to. Uh, many of my teams are doing anywhere from a half or even a quarter of the damage output that they used to do uh, for many types of content. So, for instance, World Boss, we're seeing uh, massive, massive drops uh, going from like 150 million down to like anywhere between 35 and 70, or sorry, not million, uh, trillion. Anywhere between 35 and 70 trillion. Um, and that's been really dispiriting in a lot of ways. Not just because it's a setback uh, in terms of numbers, but it's completely shaken up the entire meta as well. And... When you're doing especially something like a speedrun, uh, it really relies on having knowledge of the game that is strong and stable. As soon as you have these kinds of massive, unpredictable meta changes, and if I had to guess, it looks like there's probably going to be more of them, um, it really makes it practically impossible to do a speed run because you can't rely on the foundation that you need to make the progress that you're expecting to make. Um, it, it would be kind of like if you were in a, a foot race, but found out all of a sudden you weren't doing it on a track, you were doing it on uh, some loose rope bridges tied across a bunch of uh, like pirate ships that are sailing over the ocean and trying to sprint across between the ships. Uh, you have to really uh, know what you're expecting going in if you want to get good results. 
And that brings me to another point, which is just that the, the major changes that we're seeing uh, have really shaken up everything in the game, and I, I feel like I'm now kind of starting from scratch. So not only am I dealing with things like uh, having to re-equip ruins on four accounts, which, if you do the math, means that I have to do uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of over 8,000 rune set fixes that I have to uh, manually set each one and then resave all of them to their appropriate gear sets, which uh, is very time-consuming and frustrating and annoying. Uh, and it also is requiring more copies of runes that I just don't have. Uh, and, you know, that's a problem that everybody's facing, not just me. But it makes certain things a lot more difficult, especially when you're running multiple accounts. Um, and a lot of what I do uh, on this channel in terms of King's Raid is meant for me to pass on the knowledge that I have, uh, you know, gained through my own hard efforts to others, uh, including the speedruns. You know, the a, a big driving factor in these speedruns is that I was looking to, uh, you know, show people what is possible if you know what you're doing, uh, and at the same time, convey the knowledge of how to achieve those results by showing, you know, what it was that I did, my order of progression, uh, trying to hit just as many of those major points as I could without turning everything into this sort of endless filler that nobody can possibly parse through. Um, and uh, now, because I don't feel like I understand all of the the new uh, sh kind of strength levels of the various characters and everything, because this change didn't impact every unit equally, uh, and because it looks like there's going to be more of these changes coming up, it's really hard for me to justify continuing with this. Um, so I think the time has come for me to pass the account on, and uh, maybe... Well, I, I don't even want to say that. I, I, I think uh, probably I'm just going to start sort of scaling back my King's Raid operations and moving on to new and different content because I've been kind of struggling internally with the idea of, uh, you know, what I'm getting out of this game for a while anyway. Uh, and, you know, one of the only things that was really keeping me around was that I still had all these, uh, you know, guides and videos that I really wanted to make for people to pass on knowledge before I left, but now a lot of that is potentially irrelevant or uh, has been changed so much that I'm not sure it would be helpful for me to pass on anyway. Um, so having said all that, uh, jumping back for a second, uh, I know it says total login day is 76, but if you remember when you first log in, on day zero, it says that you have one login day. So this really is day 75, and you've probably been seeing that throughout my, my videos if you've been sticking with me and, and watching these. Um, and what we're going to do is kind of go through the account and uh, show all of the uh, progression that it's made over the time uh, that we've been using it. Uh, there is one last kind of thing that I'll use real quick here at the very least. Um, I just will open a few things in the inventory while we're here. Uh, make things a little bit easier for whoever's taking the account over coming in. Um, and I want to uh, also pop this uh, soul weapon ticket and do one quick soul weapon upgrade. Or, uh, sorry, a uh, soul weapon unleash, actually, technically, I guess, in this particular case. And then we can kind of go through piece by piece and show off uh, the state of everything, what all content we've cleared at what levels, um, what uh, things have been obtained during the course of the playthrough.
And uh, I'm not really sure if I'm going to be doing another of these speedruns ever again in the future. Um, I just... They do take a lot of time and effort um, compared to even just maintaining normal accounts that you've already kind of put a lot of work into. Uh, and running a fourth account especially uh, is just uh, kind of pushes over the edge where it makes it hard to find time to do any other things in what little personal time I have. So it seems like uh, that's something that will probably just uh, drop off moving forward. Plus, uh, with the way the game's been changing, I'm not sure that I'll be catching up enough to make that happen in the future. So, we're gonna get a Valance Soulstone. Because, uh, she still doesn't have her soul weapon. And this was from the free ticket that uh, came from yesterday's login bonus. But yeah, it's really been getting to the point where I've kind of uh, almost just dreaded logging in. Uh, it doesn't feel like I'm getting much out of the time that I'm investing into the game. Uh, everything always just kind of feels like a mad scramble, and it takes a lot of the fun out of it. Alright, so um, we'll start with a quick look at what all heroes I have. Um, obviously, Castle, Gremory, Lucy, Fallen Frey, Claus as a starter, Loman, Shea, May, Still, Valance, Saya, Barrow, Annette, Laius, Reha, Gao, Rain, Mickey, Honus, Frey, Rebel Claws, Dark Lord Castle. Uh, both those were given out for the events, but they're uh, at least one of them is free anyway. Uh, Kane, Vladdy, Cleo, Gears, and Roy, another starting character. Um, let's uh, take a look real quick so you can see all the soul weapons that I've managed to. Uh, get in the 75 days of playtime. You can see I managed to get three soul weapons to A2, and another four at A1, and then uh, another ten at A0. Just pretty good. Uh, just getting four, or sorry, three to, to A2 within that amount of time used to be really unachievable, but uh, a few of the things in the special shop and stuff like that really made that a lot easier. So there, there have been a couple things that, you know, were big advantages for the account, but there were, you know, more recently it's felt like uh, a lot of the support has just kind of dried up. So, uh, and then also we can kind of, from this menu, see all the five-star weapons. Got, uh, I guess only four weapons at five-star. Um, a lot of these are NPCs, so a lot of them aren't really upgraded. I believe Castle and Fallen Frey are the only ones with a five-star UT. Uh, Lucy is at four-star. Grim is only at 2 star. And uh, we did manage to get a full TM gear set for Gremory. Uh, Fallen Frey got one for free. Castle got one for free. Uh, also, uh, it's not fully equipped here, but we did manage to get a full TM gear set for Lucy. Lucy as well. Uh, and uh, so next we'll take a quick look at, you know, all the content that's been cleared. Obviously uh, cleared stage two of all the field raids and farmed uh, Dark Legion. 
cleared up through stage 7 hard mode fire dragon, stage 6 hard mode frost dragon. I uh, never really had reasons to, to clear the rest of them. E even these I only kind of cleared just because I was uh, doing like event related stuff and it was just convenient. Um, and then regular dragon raids I barely even bothered with, only uh, did the bare minimum to be able to get the uh, guideline quests completed. Uh, arena, we've consistently managed to get as high as uh, Master 4, top 4% on this account. Um, that's been the case for quite a few weeks already. Uh, it really didn't take long for this account to get into Master, and uh, didn't, uh, you know, I, I haven't really been doing much special with it. Uh, it's a, a really basic team, uh, and this uh, DLK is not built at all. In fact, right now he doesn't even have runes on. I, I haven't even re-equipped those yet. You can see he's not even wearing, like, proper gear. It's all zero-star and one-star random BD stuff that's really weak for him. Uh, it doesn't even have a, a UT on him. Uh, League of Honor, uh, I only just kind of auto this uh, with a macro. Um, I mean, the same is true of LOV, but uh, it's much less efficient to do that with LOH, so I ended up with just a platinum one. Um, you kind of take a beating just throwing in random low-level units all the time. Uh, Battlefield of Ordeals, the account has consistently been clearing uh, diamond tier. It could probably clear, uh, the, um, master's tier as well, but, uh, it's just too much work and effort to try and clear that, uh, and it would probably have some characters die along the way and waste some gems on, uh, reviving them. So, not very efficient to do that, um, since I can get the things that I want just, uh, clearing diamond anyway. Uh, Currently in the inn, the account has been uh, recruiting, I believe, Lavrel? Yeah. Um, may as well do that. Um, and, you know, having her unlocked would help with a few types of content. Uh, including potentially Flow, uh, but haven't gotten around to finishing her unlock yet. Uh, it's a new week for World Boss. Um, I haven't done any runs on it yet. Uh... That would usually be one of the first videos I would make in this week, but we've been pretty consistently getting in the area of, like, uh, top 10k on this account, which is enough to get, like, some of the major uh, reward tier stuff. Um, beyond top 10k, you don't really get a whole lot of additional rewards, uh, so I don't usually put too much into that, especially because between, like... 10k, top 10k, and top 2k, there's, like, no change, I think it was. So there's a, a huge gap that you have to overcome before you really get any additional rewards. Um, challenge raid, uh, you can kind of refer to the videos I've had, but we've been consistently getting, uh, on the group, uh, 40k plus to be able to get the NPC weapon tickets. Um, to be fair, the account's been, in that particular case, getting kind of carried by my other accounts. Uh, but, you know, it has to hold its own to some extent, uh, or even carrying it can be very difficult. Uh, Temple of the God King, um, we've cleared, uh, Trials, uh, Trial of the Sky up through 10, Trial of the Flow up through 10, uh, I believe I only cleared up through 8 of Earth Trial, just because I didn't have reason to circle back to that. Um, 
castle had already hit A2, and there was just no no one else who was a priority to build doing Earth Trial yet. Um, with a little effort, I could probably do 9 or 10 on there as well, or at least I could have pre-patch. I'm not sure about now. Oops. I sometimes kind of come to this menu just out of habit. Um, especially if I see that icon. I've got that OCD thing that just makes me need to clear that icon away. And uh, today's reward was the free 200 uh, gold ether, which is actually a pretty nice reward, but it still feels kind of lackluster for an anniversary event. Um, just, uh, usually there'd be a lot more stuff going on. Doesn't really feel like there's a whole lot of engagement in the game right now. Uh, especially since not only did they not add any events or anything, but, uh, due to problems with the patch, they had to close several kinds of content. Uh, Apoc isn't open, the new raid that was supposed to open isn't open, uh, Eclipse I think still isn't open, and that's also kind of thrown a monkey wrench in my ability to upgrade Gremory. Um, one of my goals was kind of to, uh, see how quickly the account could clear, uh, Big Shack 9, uh, Galgoria 9, and, uh, the lowest tier of Apoc. Um, and, you know, the changes have kind of put a monkey wrench in all of that, uh, most especially Apoc, because it looks like there's going to be all kinds of massive changes to that, and uh, it looks like they're doing some kind of uh, balance overhaul on it as well that was necessitated by the changes they made. I, I'm pretty certain that what happened is they went live. Um, I mean, they, they said just as much that they went live and uh, all of a sudden uh, there were major balance issues which is to be expected when you have bleeding ed edge content that most people uh, can kind of barely clear. If they can clear it at all, I would say probably close to only like 5% of people are able to clear any version of Apoc. Uh, even to this date, maybe 10% at the highest. Uh, and if you nerf everybody by like 75%, uh, of course, you're going to have problems with that content suddenly becoming basically unbeatable. Um, but uh, Eclipse, we made it into like the, the 50s, somewhere like that, um, on those clears. Uh, Small Shack, we cleared up through Small Shack 9 uh, pretty early on, and then uh, cleared uh, as high as Big Shack 7. Uh, I have managed to clear a new tier of Big Shack every time Big Shack became available, uh, so pretty proud of that achievement that I managed to stay on top of that progression. Um, Guild Conquest, we've uh, had some of those where we were reaching at least up into the, like, uh, kind of vaguely 15 trillion, 12 to 15 trillion category, um, which isn't too bad for a low invest account. Uh, guild raid, uh, you've, if you've been following me, you've probably seen a lot of my guild raid videos, and uh, this account has done pretty well for itself. It was actually uh, one of the major carries in the guild that it was in previously, uh, but we had to end up ultimately closing that guild down uh, as our membership dropped and we had to merge some of our guilds. Um, so Technomagic Raid, uh, we managed to get as high as Arctim X2. Uh, didn't manage to get beyond that. Uh, X3 has stayed just a little bit out of reach, uh, largely due to not having the proper artifact ready for um, Castle uh, at a high enough investment level to be able to counter the, the move that he does, um, as well as just a general low investment on the team is making it hard to stay alive. 
Um, but TM raids, uh, we cleared up through Galgoria 8, uh, up through Sieg and Ascalon 7, uh, which is really quite good considering that Shea still isn't even built yet. Um, it's uh, historically really difficult to clear this high in Sieg and Ascalon without a functional Shea or Evan. Um, so I was impressed that we were able to get this far. Uh, I think a lot of that had to do with the fact that Valance came out and uh, was just, you know, so OP for TM raids. Galgoria 9, I had I mentioned earlier, really wanted to clear as part of this. Uh, before the changes, I felt like I was pretty close to that. Like, uh, all I really needed was a little more red ether for Gremory, so that I could get her uh, into 17, and then that would allow me to use some of the stockpiled gold ether on her, and get her up to, like, maybe 18 or 19. Uh, and I think at that point, I probably could have cleared Galg 9, um, but kind of kind of stuck at this point. Uh, if I waited another week or two, I could probably still clear Galg 9, maybe? I'm just not sure if the DPS output is really going to be what it used to be, which might be a problem. And I think that's pretty much all there is to go over. Um, oh no, th there are a couple other things. Uh, Tower of Challenge did manage to clear up to floor 75. Uh, Royal Underground Labyrinth uh, fully cleared everything that we actually had enough units to allow us to enter. Um, there are some class restrictions in there that prevented us uh, from doing... I think it was actually only one of them? I think it might have just been Archer that I didn't have a second Archer for. Um, but the rest of them managed to clear through. Uh, obviously Stockades has been on farm for quite a long time. It's not exactly challenging content past the first couple of days. Um, Anything else that I'm missing? Tower of Ordeals obviously cleared 25 out of 25. I think that's it. So uh, that's pretty much the whole account status. Uh, I guess I can go through my inventory and show off a few things in there as well. Um, still have a number of items that are kind of stockpiled for units I don't have yet and things like that. Uh, you can see some of my artifacts here. Managed to get as far as... If I can find it. Uh, everything's kind of a blur in here. I uh, managed to get as far as at least a two-star crown. I think maybe I actually had just gotten to three-star, uh, if I remember right. Nothing in the storage box. Uh, growth, uh, I can see I picked up a, another Gremory Soul Stone right after I a 2 her. Um, Dosarda has a couple of Soul Stones waiting for her just from random chance. Um, plenty of gold ether ready to go. I can nearly A220 Gremory as soon as I get enough red ether. Uh, enough uh, TP coins to uh, advance a unit if needed, but just keeping those in, just in case. Um, consumables. Still a few things that we can open here.
And let's uh, go ahead and pull these all in one tickets just for fun. Oh, inventory's full because I was out farming. So let's go ahead and find a few things. That'll make enough to use that at least. <laughs> no way. <laughs> uh, three star UW ticket. Um, wow. <laughs> right at the end there. That's so funny. Uh, well, that'll be a nice present for whoever inherits this. Uh, most likely that'll go towards uh, building up Shea, since that'll go a long way for her. Um, let's see here. Yeah, right now she's only got the, uh, zero star UW. Um, the funny thing about that, uh, I can actually just make that and then transfer the soul weapon over, uh, and then they can have that as fodder for later. Um, that might be worth doing just to get them set up. Uh, although, maybe I'll just uh, save it because, who knows, uh, I mean, Shea took a major hit with the patch as well, so maybe she's not the person to build anymore. I don't even know. Got a bunch of unidentified gear from the Sieg farming that was going on overnight. Uh, was working on trying to get the uh, current spend stamina event completed. Still a fair ways to go on that, though. As well as taking advantage of all the burning times. Alright, well, uh, thank you everybody for having joined me on this adventure. Uh, going through, uh, you know, hope some of you have probably stuck with me from day one, uh, watching the progress of this account, and, uh, I'm glad that we were able to accomplish as much as we did, uh, and, uh, hope that, uh, some of you will join me again in the future and, uh, you know, watch, uh, some of the other games that, uh, I move forward with, and, uh, enjoy any additional King's Raid content that I do, uh, end up producing. Thank you, everybody. See you next time on Yukikaze Gaming. Bye-bye!